Hi, this is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. It's going to be hot this week here in uh, the San Francisco Bay Area, and I think I'm going to be spending most of the time inside hiding and working. What about you, Ray? What are some of your plans this week? Um, I'm going to go out on walks and sit in my room and sweat and watch the birds from the windows because we just saw a bird. We did. We saw a bird on a wire. A singular uh, bird. You've got one more thing to do for school and then you're done. Yep. And then you get to turn in your books and then we get to figure out what's next. Which reminds me, um, Adam's uh, girlfriend Sophie left yesterday and so she is now safely in the hands clutches nest of her mom and dad in Charlottesville, Virginia. And uh, so with her being gone and you wrapping up school and Adam being done with school, it's now like, what's next? You know, we're transitioning into this next time period, which is the summer, but not everything's going to be opened up. It's not going to be our normal summer. We're not necessarily going to be able to go many places. And so um, imagine we're going to be finding you, Ray, in a lot of trees reading books. <laughs> Well, Dad wants me to get a job, so... Well, and Wegmans is hiring, and that would be awesome for you to be... That would be, be fun. Because you could just walk over there. Yep. Uh, Wegmans, unlike those of you on the East Coast where it's a grocery store, Wegmans is actually a local nursery. And Ray loves plants and gardening and vegetables and fruits, and it would be a, I think it would be a really cool opportunity for you. It would. It would be fun. At the same time, I think we're all starting to crack even more starting to okay so the last couple of weeks ray you've definitely so sh shown some stress signs and i'm really at a loss as to what to do to help you uh given that today is day 70 as we're recording it this will come out, out on the beginning of our 11th week california will be opening up just a little bit more but um you know, I really am at a total loss as to what to do to support you, Ray. And then um, your dad, your dad, your your brother Adam is in a bit of a funk too. So, any ideas? Uh, not particularly. We're just, I don't know. We've got my therapist. That's nice. Yeah, it's just like how many days a week do my kids need therapy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now it's once a week, which is, which is good. Um, yeah, I, I woke up at like one fifteen in the morning and went in just to peek on Adam just to see if he was sleeping and he wasn't, he was playing Fortnite or something. Um, he would never play Fortnite. He was probably playing Rocket League. No, he wasn't playing Rocket League. It was one shoot. What does he play with Nick? The shoot him up one. Not Fortnite. Okay. Whatever it was, it was, uh, maybe it was Call of Duty. Um, anyway, he was doing a shoot 'em up, bang 'em up, uh, video game at one fifteen in the morning. I was like, yeah, this is, this is not good, but, um, hopefully he wasn't feeling well and, uh, he took about a week off, week plus off from, uh, work, um, got tested, uh, both Zeke and Adam have gone through the COVID testing and tested negative. Um, so we know that his feeling unwell has nothing to do with that. And so hopefully Adam will go back to work and then he'll have some sense of a schedule and normalcy and there may be some opportunities for him at work. Um, Ray, I know that you'll put together kind of plans for your summer and mm -hmm. things to learn and things to do. And I'm sure you'll have sticky notes all over your closet in order to remind you of the things that you're thinking about. Um, is that kind of on your plan? Um, I don't know about the sticky notes, but yes, mapping out what I want to do and how I'm going to do it and all of that is definitely on the agenda. Good. I, I think that'll be, that'll be good. And uh, I've been getting out more, I've uh, been hiking. Uh, Zeke and I did a three and a half mile, well, it, it was three and a half miles, a uh, mile and a half of it was straight downhill. And once we got to the bottom of that, I'm like, we're not going back up that hill. And so I texted Adam, I was like, are you going anywhere? Because we might need a pickup. Uh, but it was uh, two and a half miles home. Uh, maybe it was just a mile downhill and then two and a half miles home. So we just walked home and then Zeke walked back up and got the car while I got some uh, work done. Because I have some client consulting work that um, I've been procrastinating about a little bit. And so I will be focusing on that. I've blocked out time on my schedule, but I'm just finding I'm just not as productive as um, I have been in the past. And well, no one's as productive, mom. 
I know, but you know, that's, I mean, that is one of my core things is being just uber productive. And so I'm having to be just kinder and gentler and allowing, um, you know, the other day I did two and a half solid hours of work, got something finished and off to my client. And it was like, you know, it feels good. And then I got out for like a, an hour and a half, two hour walk. Uh, and then, you know, my normal other stuff. Um, I think I even did something creative that day. So I'm just trying to piece it all together and think that being productive, um, doing nothing can be uh, a good productivity thing for me in terms of my mental health and my physical health. And given that it's going to be hot today, um, I can't, I have, I'm wearing pajamas today. I have brand new pajamas. I'm super, super happy about these. Uh, I decided we were just going to record it this morning, give Ray the entire day to edit rather than waiting until five o'clock on a Monday or a Friday. So it was like, screw it. I'll throw in a little bit of makeup, put my dirty hair up in some sort of a wonky nest. <laughs> Poof. It's, it's a piece of art. <laughs> Uh, piece of art because art is in beauty is in the eye of the beholder and oh you didn't say it was beautiful art you just said it was art <laughs> yeah no have you seen some of those things in modern art museums like what is even going on great like three stripes of paint on a painting <laughs> or just directly on the wall <laughs> do you think if I went into like a modern art museum and with just a paint bucket and just like did a weird like swirly thing no. They would notice? Yes, they would notice. I don't think they'd notice because it would be exactly <laughs> the same as the painting right next to it. Okay, let's not try that. Or if you try it, try it before you turn 18. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, super casual. Uh, I'm, I do want to get out for a hike or a walk right now. It's what? Uh, it's almost 9 a.m. and I think it's going to be hot. Um it, you know, as I said, we're just going to adjust to life after Sophie being here. Uh, it was really nice that um, my friend Donna's uh, daughter, Catherine, um, who is the same age as Adam, they, they went to Coachella last year together. I have pictures of them in the bathtub um, from way back because they used to live across the street. Uh, and if you remember, Donna is the, the one who was concerned about my mental health last weekend and said, hey, let's get out for a hike. So I've hiked a couple times with, with Donna. And uh, Catherine is house-sitting for some neighbors. And so um, Catherine came over and joined us for dinner. Um, we've, inclu we've basically pulled her into our quarantine. Uh, Donna's kind of in my quarantine, so um, by extension, Catherine is. And it was really nice to have her at the table. I think it would have been... I think it would have been a lot more painful if Catherine hadn't been there since Sophie's been our, at our table for, you know, she was at our table for 68, 68 days. So that's was, a lot. Yeah. So it was, oh. um, nice to have Catherine there cause Adam and Catherine are friends and it just made it, it just made it easier. And, um, so yeah, as for the, the hiking and the socializing, uh, you know, I made a list because I'm a little concerned about Adam being a little too free about who he's seeing. So we're going to have to sit down and map out who he's seeing and make sure that we're keeping that uh, narrow so that he doesn't compromise us and potentially compromise others, not, a, not to mention himself. Uh, I was making a list and my list is a lot shorter than I thought it was. And Ray, you have no one on your list, right? Mm. Oh, no, no, Campbells, you, you, like, the Campbells and, and Sierra and maybe Luna across the street by extension. Yeah, uh, because um, Sierra is they good. were already hanging yeah. out. Um, and Zeke has, through work, he's got some, but they're also friends of ours uh, as well. And we're slowly expanding the, the quarantine, but I'm trying to do, quarantine, but I'm trying to do it in a really thoughtful uh, and considerate manner because any of our actions are going to affect the actions of the other people in our circles. But on Saturday, um, there was kind of a call out to our neighborhood group and we did kind of a curbside cocktail barbecue. Uh, it seemed like at one point, like almost everybody was in our front yard, but I think people were socializing um, oh, yeah. at a distance in other places and it felt really good to be socializing with other people. And that's one of the things about going hiking with my friend Donna is Donna is just as social as I am. She loves talking to strangers. I'm sure it drives her husband and her girls just as crazy as it drives my husband and my two kids. 
And um, so we hiked on Saturday morning, had a 4.6 mile uh, hike up and down the hills. And we bumped into people she knew, people I knew, so we were able to introduce each other. We talked, bumped into people we didn't know and at a distance had conversations and there was no one there to yank us because Donna and I love that kind of uh, interaction. And it felt so good because I've missed that, um, the serendipity of meeting and talking with strangers and hearing what they're doing and learning from other people and being able to kind of go, where does that fit into my world, how I want to operate, what I know, et cetera. And I joke that in Redwood City where we live, we have this Venn diagram and either everybody knows Donna or they know me and then there's a swath in the middle and they, they know both of us. And so it's, um, it was, it was kind of fun. Uh, so hopefully I will get out and do that a little bit more. Um, Zeke and I didn't talk to anybody yesterday, but it was good because we were able to catch up and talk about a number of different things and kind of strategize on how we can support the kids um, moving forward. Because um, as I was journaling this morning, I, I just made note of it's like it's really hard. Uh, we're really at a loss as to what to do to make sure that our kids are, are staying um, sane and relatively sane and healthy and not totally uh, cracking. So. Just know, Ray, as parents, we are thinking about this, strategizing, trying to find ways to be helpful and supportive, trying to ask you what you guys need. But um, you guys are just as much of a loss because, you know, we don't we don't have a lot of flexibility in terms of what we can actually do. Yeah, say it with me. These are unprecedented <laughs> circumstances. Unprecedented times, and you're you're so done with us. Um, and I'm very done with that entire phrase. Unprecedented. I have not used it. I think in several weeks. Uh, you've not used it, but my um, principal uses it yeah. in every single email. Yeah. Um, and a lot of my other teachers use it too. Yeah. And I'm finding it funny too, actually. Just why? It's just the everyone is using the exact same phrase. Because it's weird. I mean, none of us know what to do with, with this. We're at a loss as we see what's going on in other parts of the country um, and are terrified by certain behaviors, uh, either at the national level or uh, in other states. Um, it's just, it's, I mean, we just, we just don't know what to do. Uh, every day we seem to learn a little bit more. Uh, it's good that, you know, you don't necessarily have to wipe down all your packages or leave packages outside for three days. Uh, we weren't doing that. Um, but we're also in a low risk category. You know, it's, we're just, just not necessarily, I mean, if we do get it, we could get very sick. Um, I mean, we have no other comorbid comorbidities, uh, but at the same time, we don't want to be asymptomatic and walking around and sharing it with, with others. I think that's it for today, Ray. You got anything else? Not really, no. We're just chilling. Well, we're not necessarily going to be chilling when it's at 90 degrees, but and we don't have air conditioning. So we will keep the doors open and windows open in the morning and then close everything up because we have good insulation and a foam roof. So we're in a um stained concrete floor and we are going to be counting on that. I will be lying on my back <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Because it will be nice and cool, and everything else will be hot and gross and sweaty. That reminds me. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers for helping us get to 100 subscribers so we can get a dedicated URL. Woo! Uh, <laughs> last I ch checked, we were actually at 123 subscribers. So I oh, went from... Lucky 60... number 123. Yeah, I went from 66 to 123 subscribers in just a couple of days. So thank you. Welcome to, if you're new. And then if you've been following along since the... The beginning in January, thank you so much uh, for subscribing and for following along and for supporting and for all of your comments. Um, if you want to be notified, click the bell and you can go ahead and get notified of new episodes that come out every Tuesday and Saturday. And with that, let go of perfection, take some risks, and above all else, have some fun. And still wash your hands. And wash your hands.